What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. I have a really cool exclusive for you guys. It is the Galaxy Note 20, not the Note 20 Plus. We've already had a 360 degree video of that phone. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen that video that I got previously last week for that phone. This one is all about the Galaxy Note 20. Now it is a CAD render and it's gonna be what they build cases off of and I got this as an exclusive video. You won't see this anywhere else. So let's jump into it. So it's about a 15 second video, but I'll break it down so that we can look at every little facet of it within screenshots of it. And also, again, I'll play the 360 video multiple times in this. But again, this is the Note 20 version of the phone. First, let's take a look at the bottom of the phone. So at the bottom of the phone, on the bottom left-hand side, you're gonna get the S Pen. You're gonna get the speaker. You're going to get in the middle a USB-C port, and then you'll get the microphone. This matches up completely with the Note 20 Plus version of the phone. You're not going to get anything different in terms of you know the two versions of the phone, but this obviously is different than previous generations of the Note phone because the S Pen is on the left-hand side this time. Next, let's look at the right-hand side of the phone, and that's where you're going to find the power button and the volume up and down button. So they've switched uh, from the Note 10, Note 10 Plus from the left-hand side all the way over to the right-hand side like they have been in previous generations of the phone. I think it's better on the right-hand side, but I will admit I did get used to it on the left-hand side after a period of time. Taking a closer look at the back of the phone, you'll see the Samsung branding at the bottom, but you'll also see a little bit of a camera bump. It's not much, definitely not as much as what we've seen on the Galaxy Note 20 Plus, but there is a slight, slight camera bump on the back of the phone. It's not going to be flush with the phone. And in terms of the cameras, you're gonna get three cameras on the back, and then to the right of the top camera, that should be the flash, and at the bottom of the little square, uh, you'll end up getting a uh, microphone. And there's not gonna be any periscope on the Note 20 version of it. Uh, the periscope would sit below the flash on the other version of this phone, the Note 20 Plus, but the Note 20 doesn't have that uh, built into the phone. So if you want the best quote unquote camera experience, you're definitely gonna to wanna to go with the Note 20 Plus. On the left-hand side of the phone, there isn't anything in terms of button layout. So again, don't worry about that. You won't find anything on the left-hand side. And here's a better look at the front of the phone where you'll get the camera cutout at the top in the middle. And that's it. There's gonna be nothing else on there. Obviously, you're not gonna get any home buttons or anything like that. There's nothing at the top except for a microphone, some antenna lines, and also the uh, where you'll put the SIM card and the micro SD card for this. But just design-wise, you're looking at a very, very similar phone to what you get with the Note 10, Note 10 Plus. It's not gonna be a big difference in that. It's not a bad thing. You don't need to redesign the phone every single year, especially if people are happy with it and you're happy with the design itself. But I mean, really a lot of the changes are gonna come under the hood, meaning spec-wise, you're gonna get a slightly faster processor. You should get more memory, AKA RAM. Uh, storage will probably be about the same, I would, I would suspect. Battery is gonna be slightly larger on these. You're gonna get a 45, 500 milliamp battery on the Note 20 Plus and on the Note 20 version, the smaller version, this one, you should get a 4,000 milliamp battery. And then other than that, no headphone jack, you should get the fast charging 25 watt, maybe all the way up to 45 watt, I would assume. Uh, it's, at least it's safe to assume that. So not, not a ton of changes for this phone, just slight improvements for it. So this Note 20 should have a slightly larger display as well versus the Galaxy Note 10. Last year it was 6.3 inches. This version is supposed to be 6.42 inches. So just ever so slightly larger display, which to me, I, I love, love large displays. It just allows you to really get engulfed within the uh, experience of using the phone. But other than that, guys, are you excited about this phone and which version of the Note 20 are you gonna get if you do buy it? Note 20, Note 20 Plus, let me know in the comments down below which one you choose and why. I'll be getting the Note 20 Plus myself. Thanks for watching. See you guys down the road. Peace.